yo, yo, what's happening? This is Slim. What's happening? Fresh. We, I'm baby. And we is Cash Money Records right here. You feel me? Back from Cash Money Records was founded in 1991 by brothers Brian Baby Williams and Ronald Sugar Slim. In its early years, Cash Money Records would release the albums of Juvenile, BG, and The Hot Boys, distributed by Republic Records, formerly known as Universal Records. The label has been home to a roster of mostly all hip-hop artists, making superstars out of Lil Wayne, Drake, and Nicki Minaj. TMR will go on to be the most successful rap label in the music industry. This is the story of the big timers. The Big Timers were a rap group active from 1997 to 2005, hailing from New Orleans, Louisiana, consisting of Cash Money Records co-founder Brian Baby Williams and former Cash Money in-house producer Byron Otto Thomas, aka DJ Manny Fresh. Brian Baby Williams, aka the number one stunner, would later go on to change his name to Birdman after the group was dissolved in 2005. If you're not familiar with the term Big Timer, allow me to fill you in. Being a Big Timer doesn't just mean doing it big. In the end the term big timer is a slang term for a hustler, not just any hustler. A big timer is a hustler who is known for moving weight of that work. If you know, you know. The big timers will release their debut album in 1997 titled How You Love That. They will go on to record their first platinum selling album in 2000 titled I Got That Work. The lead single from I Got That Work, number one stunner, would peak at number 24 on the Billboard's hot R&B, hip hop, singles, and tracks. The group will release its most successful album in 2002 titled Hood Rich. The album will reach number one on the Billboard Hot 200 featuring the hit single Still Fly, which would reach number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. The group will later go on to record their final album titled Big Money Heavyweight in 2003. In 2005, Manny Fresh will part ways with Cash Money due to a financial dispute with Birdman and his brother Slim. During an appearance on MTV Rap Fix, The Wayne would announce that there will be a new Big Timers album featuring Birdman himself and Drake. Birdman would take to numerous outlets to emphatically state that Fresh would not be a part of the new project. The album would never materialize. How You Love That, recorded in 1997, would feature several of the rappers on Cash Money Records, including BG, Juvenile, Wayne, and BG Derrick. Bun B would also be on the album. The album would peak at number 25 on the R&B hip hop chart in the lower reaches of the Billboard Top 200. Cash Money would re-release How You Love That as How You Love That, Volume 2, in late 1998, after signing a major distribution deal with Universal Records. The re-release would substitute a remix of Stunty for the original version and add Big Baller, Money and Power, and drop it like it's hot. How You Love That Volume 2 would almost reach the top 100 of the Billboard Top Album Chart. However, it would reach the top 20 of the Billboard's R&B and Hip Hop Charts. Their second album, I Got That Work, will be released in 2000, reaching top 5 on the U.S. Album Chart, topping the U.S. R&B Hip Hop Charts. The album will feature the hits Get Your Roll On and Number One Stunner, reaching the top 30 on the R&B Singles Charts. Hood Rich would drop in 2002. Topping both the U.S. album and R&B charts, the single "Still Fly" from the album will reach the top 20 on the R&B singles chart and number 11 on the pop charts. The single "Oh Yeah" will reach the top 50 of the Billboard Hot 100 and top 30 of the R&B hip hop charts list. Big Money Heavyweight in 2003 would not be as successful, reaching number 21 on the album charts and top 10 in the R&B charts. In 2005, Fresh would announce that he was leaving Cash Money Records and signing with Def Jam. Years later, Fresh would reveal that TMR went with the move on him regarding the Def Jam deal. TMR would backdoor and not sign off on a Lil Wayne record that Fresh had promised to Def Jam. Stating that Wayne doesn't speak for himself, TMR speaks for Wayne, and we ain't clearing the song, Playboy. In May of 2013, Pearly Wayne himself, Birdman and Drake would be relaunching the Big Timers with their new up and coming album. The album would never see the light of day. In 2018, Manning would appear on a new track called Designer Casket for Babies Documentary. It would be their first song in 14 years. It would seem to be all good, but in 2021, for would do a docuseries with Red Bull, The Energy Drink. In this series, Fresh will confirm that he has no intentions on re signing with Cash Money Records and that he still wasn't seeing eye to eye 
tied with CMR. Fresh would say, and I quote, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result is insanity, and I'm definitely not insane. Cash Money Records will reach a settlement with former in-house producer Manny Fresh in 2006, who left the label in 2005 due to a major financial dispute. Per the settlement, neither party can discuss the details of the case. In October of 2022, Fresh would take to the No Rap Cap podcast where he would state he still hasn't gotten every dime that cash money owes him. Going on to say the only reason that he did get what they are obligated to now pay him was because of him dotting his I's and crossing his T's. Link to that video is pinned in the comment section. During an older interview in an installment of Smack DVD titled The Album Volume 1, Fresh would explain his decision to leave Cash Money Records. During the interview, Fresh would say it is now me, myself, and I. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that I left Cash Money because of money, scratch, moolah, fetty, she loop grip further stating that he moves on if something is not right. Press would say, and I quote, I had to do my thing because it wasn't right. I still holler at the artists from time to time. I want to make this clear. Baby and Slim are not my enemies. They are also not my friends. We were once at a point where I still looked at them as brothers. Don't get me wrong. I still get along with them dudes when I have to. It's just a growing up thing and I had to move on. BG would be the first to leave CMR, claiming that he had never received a royalty check for any album album released before 1998. The second to leave will be multi-platinum recording artist Juvenile. Reports will show that Juve only received half of the tour money he had accumulated over four years. Juve would also claim he had not received proper payment for his quadruple platinum selling album, 400 Degrees. Juve would ultimately return to Cash Money Records in 2003 for four million dollars to release Juve the Great, later inking a deal with Asylum Warner Brothers Music. Juve would leave once more and again return to do just another gangster, a joint project featuring himself and Baby. Birdman would also be hit with a $200,000 lawsuit by DVLP, who claims he was never paid for his work on the Wayne's music and music by other cash money artists. Despite assurances from Baby of I'm getting you paid, homie, and I'm working with you, fam, Birdman would never deliver the goods. Jim Johnson and Dizzle, the producers behind Lollipop, sued Cash Money separately, both claiming that they were never compensated. Johnson sued for 500 k Dizzle would sue for $20 million. Plays and Skills, the Dallas-based production team, sued Lil Wayne and Cash Money for $1 million, claiming they were never paid for their production on Got Money, featuring T-Pain. Bangladesh sued Cash Money and Lil Wayne in 2008, and estimated $500,000 in unpaid royalty for his production on the Carter Three hit a million. Wendy Day, who broke with Cash Money's $30 million distribution contract with Universal, sued CMR for the $1.5 million owed to her. Turk sued Cash Money for $1.3 million in 2015, citing shady accounting. He ended up settling out of court for an undisclosed amount. CMR will refuse Juvie's $4 million out of court settlement, triggering Juvie to lawyer up, taking home $11 million. The Wayne would also lawyer up and win in court. This was the story of The Big Timers.